Welcome to this edition of Undercover Boss. In this episode, I had a chance to ride along with Gail Severson, one of our transportation professionals, on her bus routes. Gail's driven for us for the past two years and is very enthusiastic about helping kids to start their day out well and then end their day on a positive note. Gail takes a, a personal interest in her students. She knows all of them very well, knows some of their interests, and there was a lot of energy on the bus, a lot of talking and, and fun uh, uh, discussions back and forth between the students and, and Gail. If you watched the last edition of Undercover Boss where I, I had time to ride on one of our bus routes, you know that I feel it's so important for our drivers to set the stage for our kids. Gail embodies what we've talked about as far as the importance of a driver, getting kids ready to learn as they, they um, are transported to school, and then sending them off on a good note as they, as they leave the bus each afternoon. After the route, I had an opportunity to talk to Gail about her position and, and some of her thoughts about driving, and here's what she had to say. I'm here with Gail Severson, one of our outstanding bus drivers, and I had a, a chance to ride this morning and, and learn a little bit about her work and her routes. She's also very involved in a number of activities and, and work within the district and outside the district, and, and we had a great time together. And, uh, Thanks for coming. Great with the kids. Thanks for uh, allowing me to ride. Um, I'm curious on, on what uh, what interested you about driving the bus. I know you had a, a different career that mm -hmm. you switched to to come with us. We're very happy you did that, but maybe you could talk about how long you've driven and why you, you chose to drive. I've been driving, this is my second full year, so I would say this is coming up at the end of my second uh, academic year driving. Um, I did have a corporate position, middle management, um, and it was just taking too much toll on family life at home. Um, I had thought about uh, becoming a bus driver for the school schedule. Um, I didn't have a degree that would um, get me into an uh, educational schedule, um, and I turned to bus driving. Um, I have the opportunity to have my kids get ready for school with their dad in the morning at home, um, and he puts them on the bus, um, and I'm out driving in the morning. Um, and then I drive in the afternoon, and I'm lucky enough to have my kids on the, on the bus in the afternoon from Bailey. Um, I have a, a seven and nine year old, a boy and a girl, second grader and third grader, and they right now love to have their mom as their bus driver. Um, I'm also involved um, here in the district with uh, the Culture and Climate Committee for Transportation, the faction that we're doing it down in, in transportation that builds into the overall um, committee for that. Um, I also have uh, picked up being the treasurer for the Bus Drivers Union this year, um, so that's interesting too and it helps to get to know other bus drivers. Um, from a community aspect, my kids are on a uh, SEM swim team, so they're swimmers here in the, in the uh, community. And then I'm also my son's den leader for Cub Scouts, um, and I help out with my daughter's Girl Scouts too. Um, and I guess one last piece is I actually take my dog with me to volunteer at a senior center here in Woodbury too. So even though I traded the schedule of a corporate environment where I was working all day, um, I do fun work. I think all day long now and instead. Important work. It's yes, great. it feels uh, much better. Transporting kids is such mm -hmm. an important job. What do you like best about driving? Um, well, as you noticed this morning, I have a good group of kids um, on the route that you were on this morning, and I actually like to hear them talking and getting along. Um, it's kind of um, watching them in their own environment, and I think that gives me insight to my own kids. Um, and I think that they appreciate being able to talk to me and get to know me and the other way around and they they have a wider view of, of the world too so so is, when you think about driving in the and the dangers of being out on mm -hmm. the road with kids what's the what crosses your mind or what are you most concerned about uh, each day when you, you get your bus to start well driving? there's many things that you have to think about uh, to maintain the safety of the students um, so I don't want to use just the safety of the students as one thing I think it is everything um, you have your distracted driving. Um, I've seen a lot of people eating their breakfast and texting in the, in the cars, things like that. Um, I've had some um, people just not even notice that there was a school bus there, which is in, interesting to me, a big yellow bus. Um, but the, the fact that we're out there, that we're trying to be as safe as possible, these are very safe vehicles, um, and making sure that we do everything in our power to be as safe as possible, um, but there are times that other drivers are unsafe, so if we can go to the extreme of being as safe as possible, that kind of compensates for others that don't see us or don't abide by the rules. And so um, I was told to riddle you oh. kids uh, trying to stump you each day. 
right? And, yep. And so I'm, I'm curious about uh, uh, getting to know them on an indi individual basis. We're, we're trying to look at personalizing learning for kids mm -hmm. in the classroom, and I think mm -hmm. you demonstrated a, a great <laughs> personalization on your bus. And is that something you consciously do, or is you just enjoy it and do it naturally? Um, I try and learn the kids' names, first of all. I mean, that's one of our big pushes. You want to be able to, um, to have them be welcome as they walk onto the bus um, and then I actually try and watch what they're doing and see what their interactions are because there's some kids that prefer the, the solitude of I just want to ride the bus. Um, so once it comes to a group like you saw, um, they're very interactive and they like to talk that way. So, so giving them um, a environment to actually interact that way because these kids um, it was interesting, there were the three girls, they said, oh, you guys said, oh, are, they, are you guys best friends? No, but they were strong enough to say that they weren't best friends in front of each other. So just giving them that opportunity to um, be themselves and then um, particip me participating in that, I think gives them a great opportunity to just be strong people. And I, I want to tell you, the audience, is how important our drivers are because of the culture that they set for us when the kids are, are coming to school, it's the first person that they interact with. And three young ladies on the bus today were lobbying Gail to try to take their route next year when they move to the middle school. And I think that's a wonderful <laughs> Thank compliment. You. Thank you. And I, and I appreciate all the work that you do. Your job is so important, not only from the safety aspect, but I truly believe that you set the stage for what happens in the classroom by the culture that you have on your bus. So I really appreciate Thank you. you the work and thank you for letting us uh, ride along today. No problem. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Undercover Boss. I'm so happy that we have a chance to show you the great work that our professionals do every day to help our kids succeed and thrive. And thank you again for the support that you have shown to the South Washington County School District.